<laughs> Dom's in the balcony. <laughs> He's away. <laughs> you need to get this in a... Uh, what's, it, what's it called? The blips? Aye. Billy, day two of the training camp in the bag. How's it been so far? It's been good to get everyone together again. Training's been really good out here in the nice weather, so everyone's enjoying it and it's not been too hard, so it's good. Maybe being the right blend of hard work, but obviously not pushing you guys too hard at the end of a, a big season. Yeah, of course, a lot of players have been away for a long time. People have been on holidays, so it's different for everyone, but we've came back in and it's uh, training's been good. Nothing really different, it's just getting me back, back into the swing of things. And you've just about got more tan than Sunberg, you know? I can't say the same for everybody in the squad. <laughs> I mean, I'll go red first and then I'll come tan, so it's not too bad. This has come at a good time for you, off the back of a, a strong end to the season with Brighton. You have had to hang in there at times, but it looks like it's paying off. Yeah, it was, uh, I had to be patient and then obviously working, working hard on the training pitch and got an opportunity uh, and then been in and out, been playing a lot more, so it's, uh, it's been a good end to the season, enjoyable. Remember you telling us off camera in the last few camps that even when you weren't playing, you loved the place, you loved the club, and you loved the manager. You said he was really good in terms of texting you wee bits of tactical advice. You were confident that even when you weren't playing, you were still progressing. Yeah, on, I mean, managers came in and straight away put his ideas across, and it's just total football that he wants to play. And when you're watching it and when you're doing it in training, you enjoy it, and of course you want to be part of it. So. You're like, oh, what an opportunity, what a shot. And then I finally got it and I had to prove to the manager that I can play his style and to be fair, it's been good. But you've, you've been the same since you were 16. You've always wanted to play. You've probably been in a bad mood when you've not played, <laughs> even from that age. But are you? have you got enough perspective to realise that you were behind a World Cup winner and a midfielder who's regularly talked about 80, 90 odd million? No, of course. I mean. Moises and Alexis McAllister played unbelievable. Pascal, when he played in the midfield as well, they had they were playing amazing. So I, I knew I had to wait my turn. But when you have had your chance, you've you've taken it. Did you put yourself under any extra pressure? Were you able to play your own game? Of course, you put a little bit of pressure on you to do well. You want to uh, show people that you can do it. You're capable of it. Uh, but I remember in the the game rules uh, when I we started. Uh, I felt really calm, confident. Of, of course, the two goals, the three goals, when it goes in and it start, it settles your nerves and you start to relax. So, no, I, I did enjoy it. The manager here isn't shy about singing your praises either. He said he'd had a short chat with you in the last camp. Basically, just told you to knuckle down and, and like we said, hang in there. He's obviously had your back right the way through. You've been in squads when you haven't been playing. I guess for a player, that counts for a lot. Manager here's got a really good relationship. He's always speaks to you, especially when I wasn't playing. Um, I knew why. I was talking to me, saying, be patient, hang in there, just keep working hard. Simple messages he was sending me. So, of course, I went back to training ground, worked hard, done everything I could to try and get in the team, and at the end of the season, it worked out. The flip side is that, well, you weren't playing games for Brighton, and you maybe weren't getting games for Scotland, you always turn up, you've always turned up right through the age groups. The novelty of playing for Scotland obviously hasn't worn off for you. No, I love I love coming away, no matter what age group it was, I was always trying to get there. If, even, if I was struggling with a little injury, I wanted to come. I just love coming away. I mean, boys are good, all the staff are always good, and then coming away here with the boys, it's always a good time. When first coming in, of course, you're a bit nervous to any squad you go to, uh, but when coming in, all the senior boys here, gathered around me and Nathan when we came in and made us feel part of it straight away, which was brilliant. None of you are obviously getting ahead of yourselves, but the manager has said the next two games are going to be pivotal in the campaign. I think you go along with that. It'll be, be tough games coming up. We've got obviously Norway away and then at home Georgia. And we've already seen stuff of Norway, what they can do with the players. Uh, so it'll be tough games and we need to make sure that we go over there as we have been doing to try and win the game. What gives you confidence when you look around the squad? Because the boys are playing at a high level, it doesn't matter where you look. It's a, a team that's familiar with each other, the group's been together for a long time. What is it that gives you confidence when you when you look around? I think we've played together long enough now, we, we understand each other 
on and off the park, like we're really good, very close knit group. We all know what we want to do, what we have to do to beat these teams, and it's paying off. And you're obviously keen to play your part. Yeah, of course. Uh, hopefully, get on the pitch, but uh, need to work hard this week, and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm.